joining us. Beer fans, listen to this. You've heard of this uh, government shutdown impacting federal workers, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, even home loans. Yeah, well, we're learning now the shutdown also putting local breweries on hold. WAT, six on your sign of Florida, Blake Stevens, joining us here in the studio. And Blake, how's the federal government now impacting local breweries? Well, Bo, because of the shutdown, the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau is closed. Now, they regulate new breweries, new brews, even labels. Hexacon Brewing hoping to roll out products like this, but the shutdown putting it on hold. Now, for Next Level Brewing, hoping to develop this space and open it in April, they're also on hold until the TBB says start pouring. Uh, the brew house is going to be here. Rick Cox. Just looking at the at the room here, we have our, our fermenters, which are going to be featured up in the front of the building. Has it all mapped out? Probably the biggest thing that we plan on being is just a an innovator. We're going to bring in the 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 styles that are out there in the in the market now that are on the east coast and west coast. We want to bring them here early. We don't want to. Uh, have to wait for the for those big styles to come here. We want to be able to brew them ourselves and get them out to the public here. Contractors have a lot to do before next level brewing can open, and the government has to reopen so the TTB can review their brewing application. Although Stephen Apking's Hexagon Brewing Company is already open, he does need TTB's blessing on a few new products and labels like this one for barrel aged beer. You know, we can't get formulas approved, we can't get labels approved, we can't roll out new product. And rolling out new product for breweries and all businesses are, is really a key to success. He hopes the shutdown ends soon so they can get their new products out the door by Valentine's Day. You know, in any startup, I mean, it's a, it's a struggle. I mean, we struggle, you know, day to day just to keep the lights on and the doors open um, from, you know, just dealing with day to day business. And so now you've got, you know, uh, another entity which, you know, very much controls your product and they're not working. Investors of Next Level Brewing will take construction to the next level while hoping they get federal approval soon. Yeah, there will be slowdowns, but Knoxville's very persistent. We're not going to let this stop us. We're, going, we're all going to move forward and we're going to make the best of this. And hey, App King over at Hexagon Brewing says his applications for those two new labels were submitted in November. He had to make a few changes and then resubmit them in December. That was before the shutdown. Both App King and those investors over at Next Level Brewing hoping they're not at the bottom of a huge stack due to this shutdown. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens there, guys. All right, Blake, you know, this is something a lot of people didn't think about, this no. connection. I'm sure a lot of people are going, wait a minute, what? what? Yeah. yeah, exactly, didn't see that one coming. Well, both breweries say that they are also inspected by the Tennessee Department of Agriculture. They say those inspection services, though, have not been impacted.